Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to the episode of Spitting Venom, aka the Venom Vlog, and I have a twofer for you tonight uh, from IMDb. I was going through this, and I think this information was here before, and I don't, I just don't think it registered with me, uh, but I was looking through just all the departments on IMDb for the Venom movie, and uh, I came across the stunt team, and I was going through and just seeing like what people were doing, like what the stunt doubles were, and obviously we had the stunt doubles that I already knew were there. We had a stunt double, uh, Corey DeMayers, He's the stunt double for Riz Ahmed's character, um, and it says utility stunts and free running consultant. So I don't know if there's a you know scene where Riz Ahmed gets you know involved in some action, and so it looks like he has a stunt double for a couple scenes. So that was neat. I was like, all right, cool. Yeah, I think I saw that before. Um, obviously, there's a there's a couple different stunt doubles for Tom Hardy. We have Jimmy N. Roberts, who is a stunt double on motorcycle stuff, some of the motorcycle stuff, uh, and then we also have uh, uh, Jacob Tamori, who we talked about before, who's just Tom Hardy stunt double in general and he'd been a stunt double on like Mad Max and a couple other movies of his uh, then we have Remington Steele which is like I feel like that's a porn name I don't know but uh, he's the stunt double for Scott Hayes and uh, either way it's a cool name uh, but he's the stunt double for Scott Hayes and we had I had seen that before too so I was like okay nothing new here uh, uh, but then as I'm going through I noticed that there is a, a lady named C.C. Ice. Her initials are C and C, uh, first name, middle name, and Ice is her last name, which is a pretty cool name as well. Um, and not related to Vanilla Ice, I don't think. Uh, lame joke, I know, but I'm full of dad jokes. Uh, but she is a stunt double for Melora Walters. And I, I took a minute here and I was like, Melora Walters, I know that name. She's an actress who's been in quite a few things. Uh, Big Love was one of the one of the shows that she was in. Um, she's a great actress and who's been in a ton of stuff. I think she's in her 50s, maybe, a really pretty lady. And uh, I was like, I don't, wait, she's not listed as a cast member. So why would there be a stunt double for her? So again, I thought maybe this was just a typo, like it happens on IMDb. And I let it go, and I was like, it'll probably be fixed eventually. Uh, but when I checked it, you know, when I looked back, I was like, okay, it's still not fixed. Maybe it's worth at least making a video over so we could get people to talk about it and ask the question if she's in this movie. Uh, because, uh, and if she is, why a stunt double? Uh, I'm, I'm curious what role, since we have no idea that she was in this movie, we hadn't seen any set pictures of her, we haven't seen any information about her. Um, why they would list her as a, a, you know, having a stunt double in this movie uh, for some kind of action scene. So I'm curious. Uh, I'm wondering if, you know, I was like, ah, you know, could she be playing like, uh, you know, like, I don't know, someone's wife, someone's mom? Could she be the, a villain in the story that we don't know about? Maybe like a secret benefactor at the Life Foundation? There is a board of directors on the Life Foundation that um, Riz Ahmed's character kind of talks with and answers to, to an extent, in the comic books. Um, and we know Treese is being changed from like a... You know, he's like, he, well, he, I guess he's still the same role in a way. He led in the comic books, uh, Roland Treese led the um, the jury, which were like the Iron Man knockoffs that hunted down symbiotes. But in the movie, it just shows him as like, you know, the, still the guy in charge of troops, but not like, you know, armored up troops and stuff. He just has like regular troops uh, and military people working for them at the Life Foundation. So he looks like he's like the, like, like if, uh, if you're Resident Evil fans out there, he would be like the leader of like the uh, Hunks unit from Resident Evil 2. Uh, Hunk was like this black ops guy who like you know the umbrella corporation hired to do he was trained in military tactics and he went in to retrieve a, a sample of the g-virus and that's kind of like Roland Treese is like you know in charge of a unit like that like the leader of the stars or leader of like the the that team of umbrella agents that are more equipped for battle um so uh I was you know thinking oh maybe she's like a board member and she gets you know she has like a small part in the movie and then there's a sequence where maybe Venom you know flips out in the building and she has to like jump out a window or jump off a ledge or something and she needs a stunt double. So I don't know what her role is. I don't even know if this is real or if it's just like a typo or something. Um, but it's it's pretty interesting. I just thought, wow, I, I knew that name. I recognized it. And when I looked her up, I was like, this is interesting. Uh, I remember her from Dead Poet Society as well, um, which I, you know, I was a huge fan of that movie when that came out. So I have her IMDb, I'll put it down below, and uh, I was just looking at the, the you know the IMDb page here and saw that, all right, she's right, she's got a stunt double, and, uh, and you know, she's like this, you know, uh, like a thin frame, like, you know, nice long hair, and so her stunt double kind of mirrors that too, so I was like, oh, that's, I'm interested. I don't know, I just thought this would be interesting information to bring to you guys. 
uh, who do you think she could be playing? Uh, look, uh, look her up. Look at her IMDb page down below if you want to speculate in the comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, I'm guessing she doesn't have a big part, uh, so that's why I'm thinking maybe like a board member of some kind. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I told my friend about this. He thought maybe Eddie Brock's mom, uh, but I was like, ah, I don't know, because if they're staying true to the comics, if they even bring up Eddie Brock's mom in this movie, uh, she died during childbirth, and I don't think you would need a stunt double for you know a scene like that or something. So, uh, but then again, I don't, I don't know. Uh, so, but I, I'm, I'm not sure who she's playing, but the, all those theories are interesting. So let me know down in the comments what you think and what your theory is. And as always, thank you guys for watching the show. Like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll have the Carnage, the last Carnage Week episode very soon. Uh, the artist uh, that I reached out to, he is going to answer my questions, I think, tomorrow. And so I'll try to get that video up to complete Carnage Week for you probably Tuesday. So, uh, so yeah, just buckle up. We'll get that in, and you'll love this Carnage episode. It's going to be really cool. Thanks so much, guys. As always, I'll see you in the future. Peace.